Ah, uh, today we're here to talk about orphans. And who doesn't love orphans? Except for their biological parents, of course. But what we about to watch is what orphans gotta deal with on a daily basis trying to get adopted. Look, we don't wanna adopt some gross little monster like you. We're here for the perfect child, for a nice child, for a good kid. And you know what? You're neither. In fact, you're lower than a rat. Immediately out the gate with disrespect. She didn't even hold back. She just straight up told him he's nothing. Now go away! I don't get it. I'm just like the rest of the kids here. Can't you see that you're different? Look at you, look at me. Do you not see a difference? I don't see it. What don't you get? Are you dumb? I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of a dumb question. There is a clear difference in skin color, but what that has to do with adoption is beyond me. What do you mean? Your nose is different than mine. Your hair is different than mine. You just tell me, why won't you adopt I'm me? I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Like, who wrote this? And I'm pretty sure he's gonna say it. Why won't you adopt me? Because you're black. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. And the thing is, I could really only speak for myself. But if I'm this young orphan right here, I need to devise a plan that goes years into making. I'm talking about an entire training arc, and then I come back years later to forcefully make him adopt me. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, we're Jim and Pam Miller here about adopting a child. Oh, yes, come on in. Please sit down. <laughs> Come on in, take a seat. We're so excited to be here. Right, Jim? Yes, yes. We've been waiting a long time for this day. Today is the day we get to adopt the perfect child. <laughs> <laughs> perfect child for us, that is, because all children are perfect, right? I'm very happy to hear that. We have lots of little ones who need loving homes. Can you tell me more about your interest? Yeah, we're, we're looking for someone very talented, uh, well-spoken, mm -hmm. uh, someone overall that's just a happy child. Yes, we feel like a positive, well-behaved kid would be the right fit for us. A um, little white angel, if you will. A little white angel. How did adoption abuela not peep the red flag instantly? And I think I have the perfect child for you. His name is Damien, and he's the sweetest, smartest child you'll ever meet. Sounds wonderful. Sounds wonderful, I'd love to meet this little man. Now, they just had lunch and they're outside playing. Why don't we go ahead and go meet them? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it so wonderful to watch the children play? Oh yeah, wonderful. Hmm. Why aren't there more white ones? He's saying it like he had full locker looking for air forces. Mm -hmm. Dang, white ones have good homes already. <laughs> I don't see Damien anywhere. He must be playing on the other side. Look at the nodding head of approval. Like, damn, maybe this kid is as racist as us. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I need to take this phone call. Why don't you walk around and see if you can connect with the children? And um, when I come back, I'll help you find Damien. Okay, thank, thank you. you. They're all so dirty. No way he's talking about children like this. What do you even mean by they look so dirty? I feel like whoever at Generation Hope wrote this script might be a little bit racist themselves. It smells like a farm out here. Can you imagine what they do to our house? <laughs> oh, look, 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 look at that one with the ears. <laughs> she's gonna hear you and she's gonna kick us out. Damien, can you show me how to ride a bike again? Sure, just put both feet on the pedals and keep pedaling, and don't stop, otherwise you're gonna fall. You got this. Okay. Hold on, Lucy. You see those people over there? Hold on, did you see those people over there? Because whole time it looks like you was just trying to riz up Lucy. How did he even know to look in that direction? Yes. They look like they're here to adopt kids. Hold on, I'll be right back. This place is just like the last orphanage we were at. Oh God, that little creep keeps staring at me. Here he comes. Hopefully he doesn't think we're gonna adopt him. <laughs> Hi, I'm Damien. Look, we're not here for you, little boy. So just go away, shoot. What are you here for? We're here to adopt a beautiful child. We, we don't want you. Why not? <laughs> it's 
it's pretty obvious. What do you mean? That you're not like us. You know, we want a kid that looks like it actually belongs in our family. Like, you see what I mean? Like, it's too on the nose. It's not even subtle. Even if there was a real life racist couple trying to adopt, I doubt they would go to Lent to try to bully the kid, bro. That makes sense. Well, I know all the kids here, so maybe I could help. We don't want your help. I'm really good at remembering names. I know everyone's name. That's Hector, that's Bethany, and that's Ashley. She's really Wrong. Good. Gross! Just go away! Don't touch me! Back off! I said we don't want your help. All right, we gotta see what this ending looking like because we got the gist. They don't want him. Because you're boy. And you know what's crazy? You can see the genuine joy in this actor's eyes for this line right here. You could just tell he has a genuine love for his job. But let's see how this foolishness ends. I just got a call from a friend of mine who works at another adoption agency across town and she warned me about a married couple who were calling children names and making them cry. We would never do never. such a thing. Just as Damien, we were talking about adopting him earlier. Stop the cap. <laughs> What we're talking about was insulting him. Yo, we enough, dude, else, enough. So I was curious about that couple that were hurting children, and I went up to the office to look at the security footage to see you talking to our children. <laughs> security footage? Yeah, cameras, buddy. Do you think we allow strangers to come in and to talk to our children without them being monitored? Helena, you gotta understand, what? we were just trying to find a good kid. I'm going to file a report on both of you to make sure you never get to adopt a child. You'll be permanently banned from the adoption system in the entire country. You sicken me. I've already called the police to file a charge. Moral of the story, don't expect to be adopted in bad drip.